This is the second presentation of the series, Learning Objectives and Outcomes. Vocabulary. Vocabulary is a critical element in literacy. It is the bridge to comprehension. Knowing the meaning of individual words in a sentence is critical to being able to understand the sentence as a whole. Six learning objectives and outcomes are considered under vocabulary. They are divided into three sets. Each set approaches the assessment of vocabulary from a different direction. This is because words differ by which method best demonstrates that a student knows the meaning of a word. Some words are best assessed through identification or acting out others by using grouping activities. While a third approach requires students to use words in sentences. The first set of learning outcomes are those assessed by either identification or acting out. V1 and V2 require students to identify a picture or an object in order to demonstrate that they know the meaning of a given word. V3, on the other hand, requires students to act out the word. All words presented in the program have an accompanying illustration in order to provide a visual indication of its meaning. Many activities in the activity books require students to match words with their pictures and can therefore be used as assessments of vocabulary. Students can be asked to name the pictures or to point to the picture that best represents a given word. In set B, other activities can be used to assess vocabulary. Each story contains instructions that require students to identify, through coloring, certain parts of an illustration in order to reinforce vocabulary or, in other cases, comprehension. For example, this activity requires students to color the fish in the illustration. Correctly identifying the fish demonstrates that the student knows the meaning of the word fish. In this activity, circle the picture, students may be asked to name each picture. Alternatively, these objects may be physically placed in front of the student and used for assessment. To further ensure that the meaning of a word has been acquired, challenge the student not only to name the object, but to state the use of each object. Acting out works best to demonstrate understanding of meaning pertaining to action words, adverbs, and prepositions. For example, to demonstrate the meaning of the word run or jump, ask the student to act out each action word. Other words such as up and down, under, over, backward, and forward also easily lend themselves to be assessed through acting out. The second set of learning objectives and outcomes are those that are best assessed through grouping either by matching antonym or synonym pairs or by grouping related words. The activity books of set A consistently present in each lesson two activities, circle the picture and color the picture. These activities are structured to develop vocabulary through the grouping and matching of related words. Such activities or similarly designed ones can serve as vocabulary assessments. Pairing of antonyms is another way to demonstrate understanding of vocabulary. In set A, the activities are visual, while in set B, the activities are based in reading. It is important to note that such activities not only assess vocabulary, but also assess reading. So if the objective of using such activities to assess 
vocabulary alone, then assist students in reading the words to make sure that reading skills do not affect the results of the assessment. The third set is a single learning outcome. It focuses on the ability to use words in meaningful sentences. Ultimately, students ought to be able to demonstrate their knowledge of vocabulary words by correctly using them in sentences. The use of vocabulary will most commonly be demonstrated in spoken sentences more so than written. These can be assessed formatively in classroom discussions or in the oral answers to comprehension questions. Students may also be assessed through questions that should be answered using the word under scrutiny. If assessing the understanding of the meaning of the word zoo, one may ask the student, what would you see at a zoo? The student's answer will demonstrate understanding of the meaning of the word zoo. This concludes the second presentation, which is on vocabulary. The following presentation explores the learning objectives and outcomes for comprehension. <laughs>